Hola. Hello. Soy Hi Hill Knight. Bienvenido a mi canal. This is my review of Todos Cayen. It is a new romantic comedy starring Omar Chaparro and Martha Hirgara from the No Manches Freda movies. Uh, in this film, they star as Adan and Mira. Both of them are nice folks in a nice job with a nice life, except when it comes to relationships. Individually, they experience major heartbreaks in their lives, so they both develop a system in order to get the guy or girl that they want, however they want, without worrying about being heartbroken or let down by those opposite sex. Now, Mia is also a television producer, and one day her, her boss overhears uh, Mia talking about the system of rules. So the boss challenges Mia to seduce a particular person. If she can seduce that particular person into an official relationship, then the boss will greenlight a television program that Mia has been craving to create. While on the other hand, uh, Adan, he doesn't know that he's the target of the seduction uh, plan. But being the playboy that he is, he wants to seduce Mia simply to prove that his system is better. Uh, he realized that uh, Mia is trying to play games and, you know, one-up him. So he just accepts the challenge and trying to see who can seduce who first. Now, as a whole, I don't really like romantic comedies because many of them are based on uh, the relationships based on a lie, a misunderstanding, or a scheme. In which case, this relationship is built on a lie, a misunderstanding, and a scheme. Another thing I don't really like about romantic comedies is that uh, they're often about two uh, polar opposites. You know, one's really smart and the other one's kind of dumb and slobbery. They shouldn't want it since five minutes together. Yet by the end of the film, they fall in love. Now in this case, they uh, turn the tables on that trope. They're both good people and they both know that one is trying to seduce the other. They're pretty much the same folks, just different uh, sides of the gender line. So I kind of like that twist. And another trope that's in the movies, in fact, this movie takes practically every trope of romantic comedies and shines a light on them. Almost a, satir a satirical uh, light shine on practically every trope of romantic comedies. Uh, it loves making fun of Titanic. <laughs> it loves making fun of uh, romantic um, musical montages. It even uh, takes a bit of a shot at the whole idea of two people falling in love at first sight. Uh, so, yeah, if you can imagine a trope of romantic comedies, this movie has it and is pretty much uh, winking at the camera through the whole time. In fact, they might as well just flat out tell you that because this movie uh, features the protagonist talking directly to camera. Uh, this movie is like a combination of Hitch and How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days with a dash of Boomerang and Isn't It Romantic. Uh, you know, the protagonists, as well as trying to seduce each other, they're teaching the audience their rules and their schemes and their plans to win over the opposite sex. Now, even though I don't really like romantic comedies, I enjoy this film very much. Uh, first of all, these actors definitely have fantastic chemistry together, so I'd imagine they're going to be making many more movies together for quite a while. Uh, uh, the, I laughed many times throughout the film. Uh, I was there's a great scene involving uh, pro wrestling. It's just very funny, very charming, very silly. Especially since it acknowledges all those weird, crazy tropes about romantic comedies without being a straight up farce like date movie. <laughs> uh, there's very few things I didn't like about the film. Uh, there's one particular scene that has uh, vomit, excessive vomit. I didn't like that scene because just comes out of nowhere. If this was a movie that Seth Rogen made that was some type of gross-out comedy, yeah, I would expect it. But here it just comes out of nowhere. I'm like, <laughs> uh, And another thing I didn't like involves um, the supporting characters. Both Mia and Adan have uh, two buddies that pal around with them constantly uh, all the time, which again is another trope of these romantic comedies that tag along uh, best friends. <laughs> There's something that happens to one of the male tag alongs at the end, and I was so frustrated by it. It doesn't ruin the movie, it's actually very funny, but I was just personally frustrated by what happens to one of the uh, guy buddies towards the end of the film. But overall, 
very charming, very fun, very nice, fantastic uh, chemistry between the two actors. I definitely recommend Toto's Cayenne. If you like romantic comedies, you'll enjoy this movie. If you don't like romantic comedies, you might enjoy this movie too. <laughs> so definitely check out Toto's Cayenne. And if you have seen the movie, I would love to know what you thought of the film. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere. Adios!